My check. Sweet. All right, hello, greetings, and welcome everyone to a unique video in that we are going to be doing a kind of comment answer period um, while playing Bravely Default 2. Uh, well, the demo anyway. Um, yeah, man. To be most honest, I have a ton of comments that I have not been able to reply to. Um, I'm going to reply to some of the more unique ones or ones that don't require extremely detailed answers. Most of my comments tend to be on my Switch Joy-Con charging issue video um, or my cleaning video, uh, Joy-Con cleaning video. Uh, generally speaking, I go for uh, answers that won't take a long time, so here we go. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and start a new game and then we're gonna go with the first comment here. Oh, wow. So from about two months ago is where we're going to go from here. But uh, somebody named Be Nice, Be Kind just gave me a thumbs up. Um, I'm assuming because the Joy-Con charging issue video helped them, which is great. Yay. Good to know. All right. Um, yeah, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Uh, R to skip. R to skip. R to skip. R to skip. Okay, they don't want me to skip that, so we're we're gonna we're gonna go through it. All right. Well, anyway, yay! Thanks for the thumbs up. Uh, be nice, be kind. Thank you. Um, let's see. Uh, I never imagined that Caldera had any kind of scenery on the edges. Um, this is from Dragonstorm X about a month ago. Um, I'm assuming he's meaning Caldros, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, man, Caldros has a lot of really weird and interesting pieces of scenery in it. It's not all one note, lava everywhere, you know, sort of stuff. So, yeah, man, uh, that's the kind of game where the more you explore, the more interesting stuff you find. So anybody who hasn't played Xenoblade Chronicles X, I would say definitely do it. Um, if you don't already have a Wii U, then, you know, I would say definitely, uh, be a Nintendo's ear about bringing that over to the Switch, because I would definitely play that game again all the way through, um, which is saying something, because the game that I, well, the, the only games that I repeat are ones that are top tier, best of the best, favorite games of all time sort of deals. Like my top five or six favorite games are the only games I ever go back to these days. Um, so yeah, man, check out uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. It's good stuff. Uh, the next video, uh, sorry, the next comment here is on another Xenoblade Chronicles X video. Three scales against a team of tiny humans. That was unfair, an unfair fight that you won. This game sure has some monstrous boss fights. Um, Vu Bang is the person who put that comment down, and yes, I agree that, uh, okay, we don't need those messages, um, and I agree that there are some uh, bits of this game that are brutally difficult. Um, fighting skills as a, you know, a regular human is one of those, um, one of those things that tends to be more difficult than any other type of fight. Um, yeah, man. Ridiculous. The next one here. Uh, Social215 says, thanks, you're the best uh, about the Switch Joy-Con charging video. Uh, appreciate that, man. Um, I think I'm, like, slightly above average, maybe? I don't know. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and scroll up a little more here. Uh, I wish the game would give you no pawn as squad members. Yeah, uh, no pawn tend to be really good team members occasionally. Um, like throughout the Xenoblade series, they are, in my opinion, kind of uh, kind of samey. Um, so yeah, I don't tend to go that route very often. Like the Xenoblade. 
uh, original Xenoblade Chronicles, the the one with uh, Rex and all those fun guys. Well, not Rex. Wow. Ooh, that's Xenoblade Chronicles 2. The original Xenoblade Chronicles with uh, Dunban and all those fun guys. Uh, when the No Pond became a... a uh, I will just go ahead and attack. Uh, when the No Pond became somebody who you could use, I only used him because he seemed like a pretty good tank. And uh, he did not disappoint, but... He was extremely limited, or rather, maybe I just didn't understand how to play him at the time. So, yeah, no pawns are, um, they could be pretty good if you know how to use them, but again, I was not in that, uh, in that number of people that knows how to use him. I'm not gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and do that number, and we're going to make this for all of them. There we go. Don't know what I was doing there. Okay, so let's see here, Jerped, J-U-R-P-E-D, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, Jerped says that, bro, on my old account, I used to watch you all the time, keep the good work. I will take that, that I appreciate that very much, that you uh, continue to watch me even when um, I don't necessarily... Uh, well, you're not necessarily subscribed to me on your current account. Um, let's see. Evan P. says, Dude, you have to be ludicrous to, uh, to do 100% on any Xeno series. Um, yeah, I... Uh, people have called me uh, less than sane in the past, so I will not deny uh, or confirm such things. What I will say is that I like... I like having a full a full instruction manual and I don't feel like anybody has done anything of that nature yet. I'm going to go ahead and auto advance that. Um, yeah, essentially when I was the, the reason why I decided to do a full clear for this game in the first place was uh, first of all, I wanted to start a YouTube channel. Second of all, it had a lot more to do with the fact that there were not very good or very in-depth or very complete sets of videos on the Xenoblade series because it is such a big and broad and deep series full of so many side missions and quests and things like that. So I just wanted to say, you know what? Let's go ahead and put a full log of everything that there is to do and how to do it in Xenoblade. So... Yeah, that's pretty much the, the, the main reason why I decided to do a full clear. Um, though I will not confirm or deny whether or not my sanity had anything to do with that. Okay, um, Dragon Storm has another comment here. The money you make for this is less than what you need to complete the mission, but I would gladly put Tobias in his place for free, though the probe you get is... Oh, okay, this is... Uh, <laughs> This is a um, a mission that was particularly satisfying for me as well. Um, the root of all evil. Uh, yeah, basically that mission revolved around uh, proving somebody who was very annoying wrong about um, how to farm money in this game. Or well, the Meranium in this game and the the, the gold in this game, etc. Um, speaking of Xenoblade Chronicles X, so it was very satisfying to uh, make sure that that he lost to me in money gathering because that was uh, yeah he, he he was annoying. If you go to watch that video, um, Xenoblade Chronicles X, 100% uh, clear episode eight dash seventeen, the root of all evil, just. Xenoblade Chronicles X, the root of all evil. We'll probably bring that up, but yeah, that's that was a that was a rough mission, man. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get out of the Xenoblade Chronicle realm for a little bit here. Okay, May Lee Lee, I do not have any idea what you have typed for me right now. It, I. I don't have the ability to translate this um, even to a small degree. Uh, so I'm going to just go ahead and say that I appreciate the fact that you took the time to put out such a verbose comment in another language. I am not even sure what language it is. Um, 
So May Lee Lee, thank you so much. I will probably Google Translate this now because I feel that that is the least I can do in this case. Let's see, copy, and we're gonna Google Translate. Okay, enter text. We're gonna go ahead and paste that guy. Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, Google Translate did not help at all. Um, I apologize, sir or madam. That is not a comment that I can reply to, but I do appreciate the fact that you decided to write such a long comment and that you took the time and the mental energy to do so. Um, let's see. Emily Soto, this is a comment that I get more often than any other comment on my Switch Joy-Con charging issues explained video. She says, mine is completely dead and won't charge. What should I do? Uh, quite frankly, miss, uh, your options are few. Uh, as far as I've been able to tell. You have one option to get what is called a uh, charging grip, which is um, a regular grip with a little charging port in the top of it. Um, if your Joy-Con are completely dead and do not respond at all, that is the only way that I know of to charge it without sending those Joy-Con back into Nintendo for them to charge, which I'm assuming that what they would do is actually put it on a charging uh, Joy-Con, uh, sorry, a charging grip as well. So yeah, that's going to be your best bet. If you have a little bit of spare change on you, um, I think to the tune of 30 bucks, you can go ahead and grab that charging grip and um, yeah, make sure that you can get your Joy-Con charged. Um, give me a moment here. I'm going to go ahead and double check on the price of that. Joy-Con charging grip. There we go. Uh, yep, yeah, if you had about $30 on you, um, you can go ahead and grab one of those. I will link this in the description of my video so that you can have it and know that it is there for you. Um, okay, so yeah, another thing that you can do uh, if it won't charge and it might not necessarily be the fact that it needs to be charged is I have a second video on my channel with respect to Joy-Cons specifically about how to clean the contacts um, and check and see if they are damaged. So I would say make use of those and uh, yeah, see if you can um, get your Joy-Con to work by uh, cleaning it and then trying the steps in my Charging Issues Explained video and see if that works out for you. So uh, three options here. You got the charging grip, you got cleaning your Joy-Con contacts, or you got sending it into Nintendo. Those are the only three methods that I've found so far that are uh, worthwhile and consistently effective in getting rid of the uh, Joy-Con being completely unable to charge. Um, yeah, man. Uh, well, yes, ma'am. I apologize that I cannot be of more assistance, but that is basically what I was able to come up with. Um, Roger Lid is a subscriber. Yay, thank you for that. Uh, he says, thank you, you are an angel. I am not an angel, but I certainly do appreciate the sentiment and the thought. I know that you cannot see my face, but know that if you could see it, it would probably be kind of blushing at the moment. I appreciate that, Roger. Um, let's see. Toast is good says hi. Um, hello. <laughs> That's, yeah, man. What's up? All right. Um, let's see what else we got here. Anything else that is strange or unique? Uh, here we go, Dragon Storm, bro. You you have my favorite comments of the day right now. Like you are over the top awesome with your epic points. Okay, so he goes. Uh, his his comment is as follows. Uh, I'm gonna have to say Lao has a point. The choices for who survived weren't fair if his family got left behind and some, uh, we'll say jerk like Alex and the garbage who followed him were picked. This, uh, through this, we should have, uh, we should let nature take its course. Uh, line 
uh, though his line is stupid as the line in Jurassic Park about how dinosaurs were selected for extinction by nature, both cases spe uh, have species being wiped out uh, by outside forces. Um, okay, so rather than shooting Lau, I would have just thrown him out of the way. So he's talking specifically about a, uh, a mission called Consequences in Xenoblade Chronicles X. Um, Lau is a very, very troubled soul who uh, got the ticket to get onto the, uh, the Ark, which is the ship that saves the uh, protagonist and the crews from um, Xenoblade Chronicles X and brings them to the planet Mira. Uh, he is upset, understandably, because his entire family was not chosen. Only him and, uh, you know, several other people that were reprobates and otherwise jerks were picked. Um, in all fairness, I don't believe it would have been right for people to, uh, dictate specifically who gets to go. It was better for them to pick randomly and, uh and uh, see how the chips fell, because otherwise the bias would probably end up tearing the the crew and uh, survivors apart more so than what they did in this case, which was the randomization. Um, it would have been mu much more than just Lau, in my opinion, uh, that probably would have been upset about the situation had they actually actively picked who went even if they wanted to pick the best of the best or the nicest or the best people or the kindest people to go. Even then, there would still have been some dissension between those who got to go and those, uh, uh, those people who felt that other people should have had uh, another chance or a chance to go instead of them. Or, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of factors here, but... All in all, I understand, I understand Lau's point because it is a very potent one that picking just anybody to go, picking at random, is a very controversial way to do it, but it was, in fact, in my opinion, the most fair. So, you know, um, I don't know, like, fairness, if we're talking about just definitionally speaking, this was the best route to go. But with respect to morality, um, that is in many ways kind of a toss up because if you select bad people to go, that, that bad person could literally take apart the program. It, they could be the, the lichpin that brings everything down, like Lao almost was. So yeah, man, it's, it's, it, was a, it was a rough decision no matter which way they went on it, but I kind of understand where the leader's heads were at on this, just like I understand where Lau is and why he has uh, a less than stellar opinion of the people that chose the the crews and the survivors to go on the arcs. So, yeah, I'm not even going to try to pass judgment on Lau because in a lot of ways he had good points, but overall I feel like his point was lost in the fact that the way that the people were chosen actually was the most fair you could possibly have uh, hoped for in that circumstance. Alrighty. Let's see what the next guy is looking like over here. Yay philosophy. Bro, Dragonstorm, uh, Dragonstorm X, you are the goat right now. Like, I could probably see myself talking to you for Ridiculous amounts of time just over random stuffs. Um, Legends of Zelda game of the day. Keep at it. Uh, toast is good. I am not terribly certain what you mean by that. I'm going to assume that you mean that you like the Legend of Zelda and uh, that you want me to continue and complete the series. Um, and to that I say I have every intention of completing this series and I appreciate your appreciation. Um... I have a strange comment that I probably should delete. Um, yeah, that doesn't look kosher. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm deleting that right now. Uh, yeah, there's a spam comments that have been jumping into my, uh, well, spam people that have been jumping into my comments section, adding all sorts of strange and vulgar things, and I 
have not had the time to clean them out like I should. Um, let's see. Dire. Dire Dare Dude. Dire Dare Dude. Dire Dare Dude. Okay, we'll say your name is Dire Dare Dude. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. He said liked and subscribed. I appreciate that. Thank you, Die Dare Dude. Wow. That is a mouthful and a tongue twister, and I like saying it, even though I may or may not be saying it wrong. Die Dare Dude, Die Dare Dude, Die Dare Dude. Anyway, um, yeah, so uh, The Legend asks, are you planning to plow through this whole game? Uh, even the Korok's best of luck, mate, and nice video, too. Um... I was originally planning on going through every single Kuro seed in the game. However, uh, if I did so, it would in a lot of ways be very redundant. I noticed that most of the Kuro seeds are just are just basically uh, oh hey they let me skip sweet uh, are just basically repeats of other Kuro seeds around the world. Now there's a lot of unique and really cool ones. Um, that I found so far and I'm sure that there are more but by and large you're moving rocks or uh, Cutting down certain patches of grass or you're chasing down a Sparkling circle flying around in circles. I it's to me. It seems as if the uh, The Kuroks seeds are gonna be repetitive enough for me to not need to go through all of them but while I'm going around to shrines I will as I have done in several videos now go through the trouble of going to the Kuroksis that I see while I'm adventuring so there is that um let's see um oh good we're almost uh, to the top here Okay, so Nazila, Nazila, N we'll say Nazila. Nazila Hussein has a uh, question. Uh, hey, so my right Joy-Con is not charging, and I'm getting a message that it is depleted. Um, when that happens, when it's saying your Joy-Con is depleted, uh, especially if it's not charging, you're kind of on your last leg when it comes to um, your Joy-Con's charge. So what I would do is double check those contacts in the bottom of your Joy-Con and see if they are having an issue uh, like they are broken or they are dirty or something like that. I have another video on my channel that allows you to know how to clean the Joy-Cons and things of that nature to get them to charge and work properly again. Uh, if you use that video and it still does not work, then I would suggest trying the uh, strategy that I uh, told the other young lady about, Emily, uh, earlier in this video, which is to grab a uh, charging grip uh, to... Um, Contact Nintendo or you know clean your joy cons. Um, there's not a lot To be said or done about such a thing um, I'm sorry. There's not more, you know steps out there, but Yeah, um Good luck. Let me know what happens. I'm probably gonna end up replying to all these comments anyway um, specifically the joy con charging issues videos because they are uh, very uh, they are very pervasive, and not everybody is going to watch this video, so uh, the way I figure it, we'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, probably answer them outright as well. Uh, Emily Bean 25 says, OMG, this is really helping. Uh, this is with reference to the Joy-Con charging issue video, and uh, to that I say, uh, awesome, I'm glad it's helping. Um, may it continue to do so. Um, yeah, man. Uh, let me see. And the last comment for today is going to be, oh, about 51 minutes ago. Uh, somebody just says, thank you. 25 EHN says, thank you. Uh, and you are welcome. Yeah, man. Um, as you can see from my video so far, 
um, if you're watching the actual video part of it, they have a lot of really nice textures and things that they've improved when it comes to uh, this game and how it runs so far. The battle system is also pretty nice um, and slightly refined from where it was before. Um, yeah, little fun cosmetic changes um, that I can see as well. Um, yeah, it just looks like it's a more complete game. And uh, because this is very close to how it's going to release, I can tell that I'm going to enjoy this game just as much, if not more, than the original version of uh, Bravely Default. So, yeah, man. Uh, on that note, I'll go ahead and say thank you all for watching this unusual yet hopefully helpful video. I am Jeff the Christian Gamer. If you'd like to like and or subscribe, you may do that by clicking on the links provided. Also, if you'd like to check out other videos I have done, you may do that by clicking on the links in this video. I do have a Facebook and a Twitter. Those are both geared towards making sure you guys know when I release new content. Check those out, and I'll catch you guys next time.